Hey guys, so today I'm starting out with the Urban Decay Naked Skin Foundation. I've had this foundation for such a long time. I honestly used it for a little bit and then I just moved on to different foundations, but I thought I would bring it back out again for summer. It's a little dark on me, so I like how it gives me that little tan. And for contour, I'm using the Shape Tape Cream Contour in the shade Deep. Next, I am just using the Tarte Rainforest of the Sea Concealer in the shade Light. I love this concealer just because it's very full coverage on my skin and I just really love how it covers everything. It's really awesome. For bake, I'm just using the Makeup Revolution Powder. It's the banana powder and I love how this finishes on your skin. It's just so, so beautiful, but I'm not gonna lie, you can definitely tell that it's a drugstore product, but I would, I would definitely recommend it. It's pretty good. To set the rest of my foundation, I am using the MAC Studio Fix Powder, and this is in the shade NC41. I really love this product just because if I'm having a bad day, I will literally put it on and it will make me feel better because it's just a really nice full coverage powder foundation. So I thought this would be kind of fun to include in my little routine. But this is just the Loving Tan Bronze Shimmer Luminous Cream and you don't need a lot but I do like putting that on my chest because when I do fake tan, the, the tan never stays on my chest and it is literally so annoying. I think it's because my chest is just like a sensitive area and then also I take hot showers and obviously like I love to just stand underneath the shower and usually the shower head is like directed to my chest. So maybe that's why, but I don't know. I feel like a lot of girls have this problem, but hey, maybe they love to take hot showers under the shower head too. I don't know. So yeah. <laughs> So right here, I'm just using the Carly Bible Deluxe Palette for my eyeshadow colors. With a new fluffy brush, I am just blending out everything so that it could be nice and smooth. I'm just taking that white highlight color and putting that on my brow bone as a highlight. Next, I'm going to take this purple shade and blend it out throughout my crease. Next, I'm picking up the Urban Decay 24 Hour Eye Pencil in the shade Perversion. It's just a matte black eye pencil, and I guess it's supposed to last for 24 hours. It does last a pretty long time, but girl, it will slide off your waterline like there's no tomorrow. Next, I'm taking the Jeffree Star Liquid Lipstick in the shade Mannequin. And I actually used it as a eyeliner today. So this was really, really fun to create because this was definitely out of my comfort zone because I've never used anything but a eyeliner or a shadow to do a wing before. So it was really interesting to kind of challenge myself to do this look. I have been wanting to do it for a while because I just love when people step outside their comfort zones and use different colors for their winged liner. It's just magnificent. For mascara, I just used the Lancome Big Monsieur 
mascara. I don't know how you say it, but I will have it in the description box as always. And right here, I just took my MAC Naked Liner and I did like a little tiny cut crease because, I don't know, I just wanted to play with it. And I'm glad that it actually turned out pretty because I wouldn't be able to upload it if it turned out like crap. So um, I'm just taking that same liquid lipstick that we used earlier. It's just the Jeffree Star liquid lipstick in the shade Mannequin and... Next, I am using the Anastasia Beverly Hills Dip Brow in the shade Dark Brown. I definitely want to see if they have any darker shades because my hair is black, so... Next, I just took some concealer to clean it up because I do overdraw my eyebrows, so sometimes it can look a little bit cray-cray. After I finished the brows, I went back into those two highlight shades that we used earlier for the brow bone highlight and I just put that in my inner corners because they are so, so creamy and pigmented and they're just so freaking stunning, you guys. For brows, I'm just using the Anastasia Beverly Hills Clear Brow Gel as always. If you guys have a favorite brow gel, please leave it down below because I'm almost finished with this one and I kind of want to try a new one. For my setting spray, I am just using the Mario Badescu Rose Water Spray. And finally, for lip gloss, I am just using the Kylie Cosmetics Lip Gloss. Thanks for watching. Bye.